Hey everybody, welcome back to Shop Review and Tips. I'm Xavier, I'm the Chief Growth Officer at Ad360, the easiest app to help you grow your Shopify store by managing all your ads in one place, but more on that later. Today, I'm going to review three different stores, which are all about jewelry. So these business owners posted their shops on various um, subreddits, asking for help and uh, advice to help them increase their sales and mostly, more specifically on this one, why people are leaving the website right away uh, after hitting the home screen. So we're going to compare these three websites, Blanca's Bracelets, Modern Design and Only Child Jewelry. So three websites which talk about the same uh, theme. So I think it's going to be interesting even for the store owners to compare these websites and see what each other are doing and maybe take some uh, tips and advice and see some good ideas in each of the websites. So let's start with uh, a technical detail. I noticed the three websites are lacking a favicon. Um, so the favicon is this little image which uh, uses your logo and it's important to give more uh, credibility, a sense of professionalism and create more brand awareness and closeness with your visitors. So having uh, a favicon is good and I would say having like a proper um, logo like this one is really good to help people recognize your brand more easily. Now the the second thing I wanted to point out, which is a common uh, issue in these free websites, is the lack of call to action on the first screen. So the first screen that people see when they go on the website is the only thing most people are going to see. If you look at the average bounce rate, it's frequently above 70%, sometimes 80% or even more. And that's the the percentage of people who come on the website look at the first image they get and they leave right away the same way we would judge a book by the cover and so you have to tell people right away what your website is about so the good thing about jewels is you can actually feature your products which is really nice especially since uh, all three of these websites have really beautiful products you should really be proud of your products so that's really cool. Um, but you want to use two things. The first one is text to actually tell your audience what you're selling. So it's not immediately obvious maybe for everybody that these are jewels. Um, but not only are the jewels, you can say something special. Like for example, in this one, there's not even a text. So you don't even say it's jewels, but you should say something like, especially more than you say below, these are uh, jewels you personally designed. So you should say, you know, designer jewels or handmade jewels or something that gives them uh, more characteristics, more value and more perceived value for the user because th th there is something special about them. You have to explain to your audience why they're special. So the second thing is you should use a call to action. So a button. Because most people, if they see this, if they like it, but maybe not enough to scroll down and look in more details at the website, you want to give them the opportunity to do an action right away. So you want to give as many op opportunities to people as possible to actually do something right, right when they see the first image. So I would definitely recommend adding a button. And so that could be explore, view products, view details, uh, shop now, could be many things depending on, on, on your style and what's the main action you want people to see, but you want to give them the opportunity to right away see the product. Uh, be careful about the image quality. I noticed this one and this one are a bit blurry. The third website has a really nice quality image. So I think that's really good. Now, here is what I like about this website is we directly see very distinctive products. 
So right away, we understand what the website is about, right? We see these jewels with the, the eye and here the religious symbol and here the cross. Like people have enough information right away to see if they're interested or not. And there is also an ID of the price point. So that's super important. Um, and then you have more information about yourself, which is really good. That's really important. And I noticed in your post, you said you will create a about us page, which I think is really important. And then you have more collections to explore. I've, I really like this sequence of, okay, we see some products right away. Then we have more information about you and your journey, your story, why you're making these uh, jewels. And then we can explore more types of jewels, more collections if we're interested. I like this better than the second website's flow, which first we don't even have text, so we don't know what this is. Then we directly have a bunch of tiles and there's not even a title. I think you should definitely say these are collections. You should even say collections. And you could, again, you can use the title to convey more information. You could say handmade jewels collections or designer jewel collections, something that conveys more information. The problem is, you know, these pictures, they're quite small. We do, it's harder to see and it's so different. I, th I think there's a, there's a, um, Sometimes there is a paradox, which is you think it's better to give more options to people. Sometimes it can actually be detrimental and that's called choice overload. There's so many different things. I don't know where to click. So I leave the website. Sometimes having a few different collections like this one where you have three collections, I'd be, I'd be super interested in seeing the numbers. I think this probably has a higher click through rate. So the percentage of people that click on them, then this, I guess, I don't have the figures. That's a, that's just a guess, but I think there are too many collections. So I would recommend just featuring a few products and maybe featuring a few collections. And then maybe at the bottom of the page, you, you put all collections. Okay. But here is too much information. I mean, too many choices with too little information. We, we still don't know clearly what this is about. Finally, we have a product here, which is good. We want to show a product, but it's it's too late. Okay. Um, but then you have reviews. That's really nice. The first website didn't have reviews on the first page. I think giving reviews, positive comments of people that love your product is super important. And then this page with more information about you is very important. I like this very much. People want to know about you as a creator, as a business owner, why you're doing this you're building a close connection to people reading this, they're more likely to be interested in you, your business, your brand and your products, and they're more likely to buy. So I think blank, as you said, you're going to add a about us page. I think it's super important and don't just add the link in the footer. I recommend just adding at the bottom of the website, like this, a paragraph and making it easy for people to understand what your business is about. I think that's also missing from this third website. We don't really have information. So there's no contact us or about us, who we are. I think it's really important to create that connection. People are not just, I mean, some people are going to fall in love with your products. They're going to buy them right away. But some people, they need a bit more convincing, right? So they need to understand your story and why you're making these products. That's also why I think it's important to add more uh, descriptions. That's a common problem I found in the free websites. I mean, this one is okay. You see, there's a lot more information. The first two websites are lacking product descriptions or detailed product descriptions. Let's take a random one. So this one, the other problem is description is hidden. You actually need to click on the button to display the description. I'm not a big fan of that. I'd like the description to be seen right away. And you're lacking a bit of information about the, the product itself, like what's its size, uh, what's its diameter, when it's a ring, what's the material. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not super clear. You know, I like this one where you have a lot more details about the size, the uh, material, how it was made, uh, how much time it takes to deliver, uh, how you know what you should do or not do with it so you have a lot more information 
again the more people the more information people have the more likely they will um, buy your product people are not going to buy the product outright just by seeing it they want to understand what makes this product special what went into making it why did you make it how did you make it um, people need to understand all of that before buying so i think it's super important to add more information about the product the second reason why this is very important is for seo search engine optimization you want to add more content so that your website is more highly ranked by search uh, engines such as google um, also, when people search for jewelry, they will more easily find your product pages if there is more information about them. You will give you know, the, your page more opportunities to be displayed when people make search about uh, specific jewels. Okay, so these are my advice to you. I wish all of you a lot of success. I hope you get many customers, happy customers, returning customers. And if you want to learn more about how to boost your results by using ads, especially um, uh, some of you who mentioned having problems with Facebook and uh, Instagram connection, I'd be super happy to give you a free consultation, a free audit and as much advice and value as I can give you. Just feel free to book a call with me. I will give you all that free value just to help you grow your business and get more results. And if you're interested in using advertising to bring back people to your website, uh, that's called retargeting. And that's something we help many small businesses get started with. That's the most efficient form of advertising you can do. And we can help you easily deploy these retargeting campaigns, which are going to bring back all these people that went on your website, but leave, but who lived without making a purchase. We're going to help them come back to your website and complete their purchase. And you can do this type of ads anywhere on the web, on multiple social media platforms and on mobile apps. So I look forward to speaking with you and I'd be happy to help you grow your business. Thank you. Bye.